Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. I am Jamie Beth. Today we're going to talk about places you should never swim. So these are locations um, with lakes and streams and rivers and whatever. You should not swim in any of these areas that I mentioned. I came across a couple articles about this, and I just thought it was fascinating and I wanted to share it with you. We're going to dive right in. And the first place we're going to talk about is a place called the Boiling Lake. Now, if you're like me, just the sound of that makes you not want to swim there. <laughs> the uh, Boiling Lake is located in the Dominica. And what makes this place so downright scary <clears throat> and dangerous is the presence of scolding hot magma beneath the surface. This magma induces the water to reach a temperature of boiling point, literally causing the lake to boil. Crazy. So if you ever scolded yourself with boiling water, you know the pain that this lake would cause if you were to try to swim in it. We're going to talk about Jacob's Well next. So Jacob's Well is located in South Central Texas, and it is actually a really beautiful lake. The waters are so crystal clear that you can see straight to the bottom. And it's also cool because it has a system of tunnels and caves beneath it. Many people <clears throat> will embark into the depths and never come out. The challenge of navigating the underwater tunnels is more than they expect, and they don't realize it until it's too late. So kind of what happens with this one is, <clears throat> even if you are a very, very experienced diver, you can um, get caught in some of these more intricate tunnels underneath this lake. You could get turned around real easily and not be able to find your way out. So it's kind of like you're stuck in a never ending corn maze type of thing. And then eventually you'll run out of oxygen and you'll perish. The next one we're going to discuss is kind of obvious. I mean, I think it's obvious because if anyone knows anything about this river, you probably know why it's obvious that you shouldn't swim in it. The next one we're gonna talk about is the Nile River. It is full of giant crocodiles. While they're not necessarily the most dangerous of animals to encounter while swimming, they are one of the animals that will most likely kill you. <clears throat> There's approximately 100 crocodile attacks per year in North Africa. If you're scared of crocodiles and want to leave your body with all the limbs attached, <clears throat> don't swim in this river. There is going to be, I think, maybe one or, or two others that are very, I shouldn't even have to talk about them that much because we all know you shouldn't be swimming in them. The next place we're going to talk about is a place that I was just at. I just visited this location. The Bu Bubbly Creek, which is an area of the Chicago River that you would be advised not to swim. And again, I don't think I would swim in the Chicago River, period. The reasons for not wanting to swim in this river <clears throat> is because of the amount of disgusting runoff that make its way into the river. Much of the lake, for instance, has been the subject of discarded meat, fecal matter, and other loathsome things. My husband and I were just in Chicago for our anniversary <clears throat> last November, and um, it, it's gorgeous. It's just a very, very beautiful city, very beautiful. And I don't remember the river looking as disgusting as it does in the picture that I have. It look, the river looks green, but maybe we weren't at this part of the river, and that's just kind of what I'm thinking. I thought we walked the whole river, but maybe we didn't because I don't remember it ever looking really disgusting. But I mean, obviously I didn't have any urge to swim in it either. Over time with this river, um, up began to decay, of course, leading to bubbling in the water. And this water or this river has become so toxic that fish and animals can't even live in it. Or it must be like this part of the river where fish and animals can't even live. So gross. Next up is Lake Kerche, and I hope I said that right. Um, it is a lake located in central Russia. 
It is one of the most toxic lakes on earth and it is toxic because Russian government had polluted it with toxic waste during an era in which regulation on such things wasn't really a, a thing. Um, as a result, it gained such a toxic nature that swimming in it could kill you within an hour. However, um, this lake probably won't be around for much longer because Russia I, is apparently trying to fill it in with concrete. So slowly and slowly the lake is going away. So next up is the Eagle's Nest sinkhole. <clears throat> and just something called a sinkhole would prevent me from ever swimming in it. Um, this sinkhole is located in Florida and you are actually allowed to swim in it, um, but you're not allowed to dive in it anymore, or maybe you're not allowed to swim or dive in it anymore. I know diving is definitely prohibited in this sinkhole, and the diving is really what is dangerous and what made it on my list here. And what makes it dangerous is if you dive in, there are all these little, I guess, holes within the sinkhole that you can explore. And even if you're an experienced diver, the way these holes are, um, and I guess just like tunnels and stuff, you could get lost. Um, visibility, I guess, is really hard. And um, you could lose oxygen and perish. Now there is even a sign that I believe is in the water that tells you to stop. It's a giant sign with a giant Grim Reaper on it that says stop, prevent your death, go no further. So then it has some facts listed on it and I'll read you what the sign says. It says more than 300 divers, including open water scuba instructors, have died in caves just like this one. Then it says you need a training to dive. You need cave training and cave equipment to cave dive. Without cave training and cave equipment, divers have died here. It can happen to you. And then it says nothing, there's nothing in the cave worth dying for. Do not go beyond this point. So because of that sign, it makes me believe the signs in the water and it's preventing you from going any further. But of course, you know, people don't listen to things and unfortunately they have died. Moving along to Kipu Falls, which is a very popular tourist destination. It is also a place where many tourists have drowned. While it's not 100% certain exactly why people have drowned there, several have still succumbed to the waves. What is causing the deaths here? Um, some people believe, you know, ancient gods or hidden whirlpools. The most likely explanation is um, just a high amount of traffic. <clears throat> which with such an abundance of tourists visiting this place, um, it is more likely people would drown. Next up, we're gonna talk about the Amazon Basin. And I wouldn't swim in the Amazon, period, but some people still enter the water and I don't know if in certain parts it's not as dangerous, I don't know. The reason the Amazon Basin in South America is dangerous is because of the amount of predators that are in the water at any given time. And we're talking about piranhas, barracudas, and um, any other type of animal that would have no problem attacking you. One such um, predator, I guess, are these tiny, tiny fish called kangaroo. And they're, they look like they're probably about that big. They're sl small and slender. But what has happened are people have had these um, small little fish like jump up in them. One gentleman had to have the fish removed from his manhood um, because it kind of jumped up as he was peeing in the lake. And kind of inserted itself in him. Like, talk about scary. These little tiny fish are all over this Amazon basin. And um, these fish are also referred to as vampire fish. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why more people don't know about this who live in that area. Um, and this poor gentleman, I felt so bad. I actually had to look up a 
YouTube video on this fish being stuck in somebody and the surgical procedure it took to get it removed. It was scary because it almost seemed hard to believe at first until I saw or uh, until I saw a video and read more about it. Moving along to Lake Victoria. The so Lake Victoria is located in Africa and it's the third largest lake in the world. So there are some parts in this lake that you don't want to swim. I think there has been from what I have read, 5,000 deaths in this lake. What makes those certain parts so deadly is it has its own isolated weather system. And because of this, the weather can change from bright and sunny to terrible and bleak in a matter of seconds. If you are caught in one of the crazy storms that happen in this lake, more than likely, you might perish. We're gonna talk about the Rio Tinto next, and this is located in Spain. And the waters in this lake are red. And it's this way because of it being used for um, runoffs and it polluted the lake. And because of the pollution, it's caused this lake to be grossly acidic. So swimming it in any long period of time will actually make you start to dissolve. So don't swim there. Okay, next up on our list is a place that I kind of think you should have enough common sense to not swim there. It is the Hoover Dam. And I mean, swimming in the Hoover Dam is illegal anyway, so just don't do it. I don't care how exciting it might seem. Just don't do it. <clears throat> you can be arrested and um, you can also die. And the reason you can die is that along the dam, there are intakes that allow the water at the top to move down to the bottom at a controlled pace. These intakes have <clears throat> taken the lives of so many swimmers. The dam also has things called a bell mouth spillway which are uncontrolled ways through which they transport the water. Next up is a place in the UK called the Blue Lagoon, and I'm sure we've all heard about this. Now the reason you shouldn't swim in the Blue Lagoon is because of the extremely high pH level. It is at a staggering 11.3. And what that means, it's kind of equivalent to swimming in a pool full of ammonia or bleach. And being exposed to high levels of ammonia, even ingesting it, can lead to organ damage and death. So if you guys are ever in the UK, please avoid swimming in the Blue Lagoon. Now we're moving to Queensland, Australia. <clears throat> Queensland is the second largest territory in the Commonwealth of Australia. It's also, however, one of the most deadliest places to swim. And the reason is because of all the scary creatures that inhabit this area. We are talking about sharks, saltwater crocodiles, stonefish, and the exceptionally deadly Blue Ridge Occupy and box jellyfish. <laughs> the box jellyfish is particularly deadly as if it stings you, it will put you into a cardiac arrest and sometimes instantly kill you. Next up is the Potomac River in Maryland and West Virginia. And what makes this river so dangerous is if you were to swim in it, um, you could get caught in the rapids and they will suck you under underwater. And then because the rapids are so strong, you're not gonna be able to get back up to the surface and a lot of people have drowned. Moving along to Laguna Caliente. In English, this means hot lagoon. And by hot lagoon, it is very, very, very hot. Located in the center of a volcano in Costa Rica, this lake will literally burn your flesh off. <clears throat> you actually need a permit to even access the surrounding area because the volcano can erupt and um, obviously that's not a place that you want to be when that happens. Another place you might want to avoid is Lake Shagan in Kazakhstan. It is also called Nuclear Lake 
and it's called this because um, it was formed um, by the detonation of an underground Russian nuclear bomb. The result was this large um, poisonous crater lake and it is beyond toxic. So if you want to take the chance of swimming in it, you might um, become radioactive. Next, we are going to talk about Lake Neos in Cameroon. And Cameroon is located in Africa. This lake was formed by an ancient asteroid that hit the Earth. It is located on the boundary of the um, Cameroon volcanic line in an area which um, has ample volcanic activity. So right there is telling you don't go there. Moving along to the Bika Lagoon. <clears throat> and this lagoon is located in Fiji. And when you think of lagoons, just like the Blue Lagoon, um, you think of a beautiful blue lake surrounded by lush plants and forests and just, it's breathtaking. It's along a beach, everything is great. But sometimes looks are deceiving and I think that is what a lot of these stories are telling us that just because the area looks gorgeous doesn't necessarily mean it's a safe place to be. So what is crazy about this lagoon is the amount of sharks you will see if you dare try to swim in it. It is just overrun by sharks. And a lot of these places are like that. It's either overrun by animals that can absolutely kill you or it is toxic. A lot of these places are just too toxic to swim. And a lot of people don't realize this until it's too late. India is home of some of the most beautiful beaches on the planet. However, it has some of the most toxic as well. Much of this is due to an unencumbered industrialization. This shift in social practices and induced many people to distribute industrial waste and other unmentionable things in the water. In Mumbai, India, this has become a particular problem. While once pristine, these lakes have turned into literal cesspools. Locals that live in the areas around the water have begun to dump their waste in the waters as well, compounding the grossness. Unless you want to bathe in nastiness, don't swim in the waters near Mumbai, India. Moving along to um, the Berkeley Pit, which is located in Boot, Montana. Definitely somewhere you should avoid swimming. And the reason why is the lake used to be a copper mine um, and it was filled in with water after a substantial amount of non-use. But because of the mine's chemical composition, the small pit of water is considered extremely toxic. So in the Bahamas, there is a part of the Bahamas, the West End and the Grand Bahama Islands that you should probably avoid no matter how beautiful it looks you, because you are in danger of getting attacked by sharks. On Tiger Beach, for instance, you will find a great abundance of tiger sharks and tiger sharks um, are very, very vicious sharks. And because of their very vicious nature, um, the chances of you getting attacked by one of these guys is very likely. So stay away from Tiger Beach if you guys are ever venturing to the Bahamas. So finally, we're gonna talk about the Victoria Falls and they are located in Zambia and it is a series of great, huge, beautiful waterfalls. Now, what makes this a deadly place to swim other than being thrown off a waterfall is at the edge of these falls are things called devil's pools and these pools are little digs that accumulate water in which you can swim but they are right at the edge of these waterfalls. So you are taking the chance of being swept away and thrown off a gigantic waterfall and meeting an untimely death. So that is our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about the places you should never swim in a lot of these places. I mean, again, it's just because they are just simply dangerous. If you aren't getting sucked in by undercurrents 
or um, just rapids or whatever, um, you are being attacked by vicious creatures or being killed due to toxicity levels. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button down below in case you haven't already, as well as the notification bell next to it to be notified of all of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you again soon. Bye.